This five minute movie review covers the 2008 film Cloverfield, written by Drew Goddard and directed by Matt Reeves. Cloverfield is a found footage horror thriller set in New York City in the year 2008. Now, the film stars Michael Stahl David as Rob, a young up and coming executive who is all set to move to Japan for a new job. Odette Annabelle stars as Beth McIntyre, Rob's love interest, and portraying Rob's best friend, HUD, T.J. Miller. The movie opens up with a surprise going away party in honor of Rob, because Rob is scheduled to leave for Japan the next day to start a new job as a vice president of a big corporation. Rob's best friend, HUD, portrayed by T.J. Miller, is assigned the task of filming the party and documenting people saying their goodbyes to Rob. One of the party's guests is Beth McIntyre, who happens to be a love interest of Rob. When Beth shows up with a date, Rob gets incensed, and the two eventually have a big argument. Rob is mad that Beth brought a date. Beth is mad that Rob never defined their relationship. And so we have some pretty big dramatic fireworks at this party, all of which is being documented by HUD. Eventually, Beth leaves. Rob says something really mean to her on the way out. And while Rob stews over this course of events, suddenly all the lights go out in the apartment. This is followed by several loud booms coming from outside. So almost immediately, the party moves up to the roof of the apartment to see what's going on. And they are amazed to see explosions and flying debris coming their way. So the party moves back downstairs and eventually, like all good movie characters, decides to go downstairs to take a closer look, a street level view of these crazy events. From the street level, they witness horrifying scenes of buildings collapsing and the head of the Statue of Liberty exploding and landing on the street right in front of them. And that's when the main characters decide it is their top priority to get off of Manhattan Island and hopefully while doing so figure out exactly what's causing all of this destruction and carnage. While attempting to leave though, Rob gets a call from Beth. She's back at her apartment and she's in some serious trouble. She's begging Rob to come and save her. And from that point on, Rob's main focus and the thrust of the movie is getting back to Beth and getting her out of harm's way. And from that point on, the question becomes, will our main characters accomplish that mission? Will they get back to Beth in time to save her life? And then hopefully, can they figure out a way to save all of their lives as well? Now, there are several things about Cloverfield I like. Number one, it is the epitome of what a found footage film should be. The character development, the timing, the pacing, the dialogue, everything flows in a very natural state. It feels like you are there in this event with these characters. And as the story progresses, it becomes very easy to connect in with these characters, to connect in with the motivations of Rob and to understand why he did what he did. And what's really splendid about this movie is that as this connection with the characters is building, we're going through various action scenes. And like all good horror movies or thriller movies, there is a slow building but noticeable crescendo of events. Every action scene, every big happening seems to be a lot more important than the one that came before it. And it's this ratcheting up of the tension and the drama and the action that makes Cloverfield the masterpiece that it is. Now, for me personally, this is one of the rare times that a movie fires on all cylinders. It delivers in every possible category. And for that reason, I give Cloverfield five out of five stars. It is, to me, the best found footage movie since The Blair Witch Project, because everything from the writing, the directing, the acting, even the time placement of 2008, this movie nails what 2008 felt like as a young person. So if you've never seen Cloverfield, I highly recommend it, especially if you are a fan of found footage films. This is Kevin in Texas saying God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.